Hello, welcome everyone. It's Marek Mulacic here and welcome to another video in the series about Adobe Premiere Pro. And this time I want to talk about exporting audio. I've got a sequence here which I put together. Uh, this is actually a sequence from one of the videos uh, from the past, from here. And uh, there's some talking here in this video here. Okay, uh, let's say, let's say I want to get just the audio from the sequence here and, and maybe upload it as a podcast, for example. So here's what we can do. Now, one thing you could do potentially is say, first of all, if you have multiple audio tracks, you could solo the one you want to use. Or you can mute the ones you don't want to use. So you probably know that already. Okay. Well, this is just one audio track with a video. And I want to export it, but I want to export just the audio. So first, we'll make sure we have our timeline panel selected. Then we're going to go File, Export Media. So just a normal standard export. Okay, so Export Media. This will give you the export dialog box. And people often just try to overcomplicate things, trying to say disable export video, for example, which gives you just the audio. This is true. This does give you the audio. However, uh, well, this is still exporting, in this case, as an MP4 file. Now, we don't want MP4 file. We want to have an audio. So I'm going to leave export of video as it is. And instead, you're just going to choose an audio format. There'll be a couple of options in here, just a few actually. We have the MP3, which will give you this uh, high quality but compressed audio file. Okay. You also got the AIFF and AAC audio. Okay. And it's also going to be a WAF, waveform audio. So I could do a waveform audio, for example, which will give us a high quality audio. Uh, there are no presets here for the WAV files. Okay. You can choose where this is going. So you can choose the location, wherever you want it to go. It's going to export just the audio, so there's no preview available here. Okay, you get a summary as well. So we have the source, which is 1920 by 1080, and we get an export, which is just the 48 kilohertz stereo audio. Okay. If I just collapse this section for a second, we have this audio section here where you have some format specific options. So you can choose the audio codec, or leave it as uncompressed. 48 kilohertz, perfect, high quality audio, that's perfect here. You could also make it mono, but want the stereo, obviously, and you can sample size as well. 16 bit is just fine, and then you just export it. Alternatively, if I just change it to MP3 file, which would be more common. We give you a compressed audio file, but with great quality, you got some presets with different uh, bit rate. So 128 kilobits per second will be, well, I would say quite low quality, actually. It's, but it's going to sound okay. It's the bit rate, uh, at least you used to get uh, by default, maybe it's still the case with free plans on audio streaming services like Spotify, for example. So if we want a higher quality audio, we could go for 192 or even 256 kilobits per second. So go for the higher quality audio here. Again, the same option for the location. And if I just collapse this section, or at least this one here, actually let's go for the entire one here. You got the audio, so we want it to be stereo. We've got a beat rate. So you could still customize it. Because you know, when you look at the presets, the highest preset is for 256. But you can actually go even higher, so we can go for 320, and that's something we can change here, 320 kilobits per second. This will give us, uh, I think this would be the highest possible bitrate for the MP3 file, but I may be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, okay? High quality codec, yes. You get the estimated file size at the bottom here. Let me just open these sections here. So I'm getting estimated 36 uh, megabytes for 15 minutes apparently okay and then you're just going to export it to get an mp3 file or the WAV file audio only file from the timeline 
So you don't need to do anything specific when you export and you want to export as an audio file. You just do a normal export and just get a normal standard audio file. As simple as that. Okay, this was a quick one on exporting audio from Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I'm Marek Molarczyk and hopefully see you soon on some more videos. Thank you for watching and bye bye for now. Bye bye.